I am Sebastian Bazin. I'm the very lucky, privileged chairman and CEO of Accor Group. Indeed. French guy. <laughs> Indeed. Listen, thank you so much for giving Breaking Travel News some time here at World Travel and Tourism Council Summit in Rwanda. Give us some of your reflections so far. Um, I am, as the British would say, I'm flabbergasted. It's, uh, it's an extraordinary country. I've been here three times. I, uh, I've been telling people that yesterday, if you want to understand Rwanda, you need to go in the streets, you need to go on a car, you need not to take the helicopter. Because what strikes out is not only the beauty of the, uh, the geography, but it's the smile of the people of Rwanda. They are kind, they're generous, they're charming, uh, they are happy. Uh, and you know they, they're thriving for something in life that we just need to give them and to offer to them. So if, the generosity of the population of Rwanda is just mind blowing, and I, um, so I'm, um, and I've been looking at this country for the last uh, 30 years. It's uh, it's probably the best example on the planet of mission, of vision, of leadership, and deployment and execution, and of course unite a country which is today totally united. It's um, and finding that now in uh, sub-Saharan Africa, I think it's a blessing. I know Kenya, uh, Benin and other countries are following that example. It may be the evolution we've been waiting for for the last 30 years on this continent. Uh, and I'm a big optimist about Sub-Saharan Africa. There will be a third of the population in a matter of 15 to 20 years. They probably won't control the world, but they will be the intelligence of the world. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of smart people, there's a lot of smart students in this uh, continent. So, for our core, I'm doing it in this country what we have done in South America 50 years ago. We made a big bet in South America, Chile, Peru, Colombia, uh, Brazil, of course. And uh, we're making that bet again. Uh, we started in West Africa uh, some 25 years ago. It's time for our core to invest more in terms of resources, financial and human resources, on developing infrastructure to welcome the uh, men of the world to discover the beauty of Africa. So, and wherever it is in Africa, by the way, not only in South Africa, but it's true for, I mean, I want list of 54 countries. So it is audacious, it's not without any risk. It's gonna take a long time, but it's time worth it. So, uh, plus a lot of countries speak French, so I'm trying to get the French back in this continent as well. Uh, but it's, uh, no, it's, uh, it's an eye opener. I don't know why so many people have never been to Africa. If you go there, there's something about being addicted. You just want to come back uh, because it's uh, you're learning. So uh, no, I'm privileged. And lastly, your key um, kind of ambitions for for the summit here. What do you want us to kind of come away with? Uh, shake the world. I'm, uh, we've been asleep. It's, uh, people have to realize that travel tourism is 11% of the GDP in the world. It's 11% of the workforce. It's probably 25% of the new job to be created. You know, we happen to be in a very warm industry, which is interacting between humans. Uh, putting aside the exact opposite, which is a cold industry, which is all the telecom, media, tech. They never meet anyone. Here we are, uh, it's, uh, we're just by only meeting somebody, you're learning from one another. So I love my industry. Uh, so WTTC is really the body where we need to engage, give a sense of purpose for somebody to choose what they want to do in their life. And what you need to do in your life is basically bring something to somebody you never met before. Uh, which is why I love my people in a hotel when they are in the reception and they have to say hello and they have to engage and they have to smile and they have to respond and they have to solve problems. But people will always remember the smile of a, any people and any nationality and any religion. So, um, no, check the world and uh, be an example, uh, full of integrity and stay the course. Uh, and, uh, but it's a blessed industry, it's a growing industry uh, with the great numbers of actors. Accor is not alone here, we're one of many. And it's odd because you can be as big as Accor or Marriott, or you can be a standalone uh, hotel owner. We actually do the exact same job. And some of them do much better than I do. So I'm also learning from the small guys. Love you, kiss you, bye bye.